power of the dark side. Escort one to Overlord. Scanning for hostiles now. I'm detecting some strange interference. Evade! Great shooting, people. Scratch one destroyer. Looks like the captain of the destroyer is making a run for it. Their engines. They're not going anywhere. Great shooting. Let's regroup. Commander! General Dayrun, what can I do for you? I'm glad I caught you. Darth Malgus is assembling one of the largest attack fleets in history. We need your help. Another day, another crisis. Where are we meeting? We're in the operations center on Carrick Station. Please hurry, Commander. They ruin out. More than 100 capital ships, with smaller picket ships and support vessels close by. And that's not all. There's enough fuel transports for all those warships to cross half the galaxy. Darth Malgus is leaving nothing to chance. His fleet won't stop until they reach the objective. Which is? Corellia. How did you manage to learn so much about Malgus and his fleet? It's impossible to move that many ships in secret, even for the Sith. When we learned they were massing at Viken Space Dock, the SIS focused on discovering the reason. The fleet's target is the Meridian Complex, a state-of-the-art shipyard that's due to begin production in a matter of weeks. The Meridian Complex can produce new warships at triple the speed of any existing shipyard, and at half the energy cost. Once that shipyard becomes operational, it could give the Republic a significant advantage in a matter of months. That's why they're committing so many ships to this mission. The Sith Empire will stop at nothing to destroy this new shipyard before it can save the Republic's war effort. The Alliance has warships, but not enough to challenge a fleet that large. Where do we come in? It's crucial that we redeploy the Republic fleet to defend the Meridian Complex immediately. Unlike Malgus, we can't move our ships to Corellia without refueling stops. We expect the Empire's top agents to target our reinforcements anywhere they stop. They won't risk our forces arriving in time to make a difference. We want you to defend and expedite those reinforcements as best you can. If we defeat the Empire at Corellia, we turn the tide of this war in our favor. All right. Where am I going first? The planet Onderon. The 11th Fleet is gathering there to resupply and refuel before heading to Corellia. It's the only Republic port within range of their current position. Onderon has been a Republic world for centuries, but local politics have become strained and fractious. Tawadar is already investigating. She suspects Imperial infiltration. I'll be glad to work with Tau again. She feels the same way. You made a very effective team on Osis. General, word from the 87th. I'll leave you to it, Commander. Good luck. Speaking of Tau, I have one more favor to ask of you, Commander. Arn, if you please. Commander, been looking forward to meeting you. I'm Arn Perallin. Jedi Padawan. I remember Nostaral and Tau talking about her taking on a Padawan. Is that you? Apparently so. Tau had to leave for Onderon before I could introduce her new Padawan. Since you're heading there anyway, I thought Arn might ride along with you. Heed the commander's words well, Arn. May the Force be with you both. Artillery fire. On Dacot 7. What? How'd it happen? How'd you get injured? Yeah, that's everyone's first question. My master and I were escorting refugees. He died. 
I survived. More or less. Daycot 7 has advanced technology, but the locals can't use Colto or Bacta. Genetically incompatible, they said. So they use cybernetics to treat all their severe injuries. The recovery took years. I don't know if I can still become the Jedi I hoped to be, but I'm not giving up now. You can do great things whether you're a Jedi or not. I don't know how to be anything else. Hey, before we go, my new master, Tao, what can you tell me about her? I've worked with Tao, and I was impressed. I think you'll make a great team. Master Nostaral thinks very highly of her. Glad to hear you share his opinion. Thanks. I'm ready when you are. Lana, I'm heading for Onderon. Gather up anyone that's free and meet me there. Understood. We'll set out immediately. So, what do you know about Onderon, Arn? Well, we just landed in the heart of the capital. Not that there are any other major cities. The planet is mostly wilderness. The wildlife is famously dangerous. The plant life is hardy enough to seed barren planets and spark new ecosystems. So that definitely makes Onderon an important resource world. Uh, what else? Um, ah, the planet is ruled by a king named Petrif, who's been on the throne for just over three years. Impressive. Somebody did their homework. Oh, I, <laughs> I can't take the credit. Master Nostaral gave me the full lecture back at Carrick. You know how much he loves history. Let's find Lana and hear what she's learned about the Imperials' plans. Lana... Lana Benico, right? The Sith Lord that works for you? Lana isn't like most Sith. You've got nothing to worry about. I have to be honest, I've, uh, I've never talked with a Sith before, you know? So... after you? Commander, welcome to Onderon. This must be your new friend, Arn Paralan. Jedi Padawan. Hmm. Uh, nice to meet you. You're enjoying this a little too much. I so rarely get to menace innocent young Jedi anymore. Onderon is a powder keg. King Petrith has been at odds with his noble council for months. From what Theron and I have learned, he wants to strip mine the planet to line his coffers. The nobles aren't interested in that plan. As a result, Petrif has changed residence to his hunting lodge in the wilderness, where the nobles can't keep track of his activities or visitors. The nobles are led by Senator Nebet, the planet's Republic representative. She was kind enough to lend us her office. Nebet's people have detected coded transmissions from the hunting lodge. The code used is highly sophisticated and not Onderonian. An Imperial code? Nibet suspects as much. I have Dr. Ogorob analyzing it to confirm, but in the meantime, the Senator is preparing the city for a potential attack. To that end, our people are spread across the capital, shoring up the city's defenses. I believe you'll find Tao Adair in the central marketplace. Good work, Lana. I'll take Arn to meet with Tao. Can you arrange an audience with Senator Nibet? Certainly. I'll contact you once I have the details. All right, Arn. Ready to meet your new master? Ready as I'll ever be. It was nice to meet you, Lord. Lady, uh... Just Lana will do. Commander, it's good to see you again. You must be Arn. Uh, yes. Arn Perallin. I, uh, look forward to learning from you. Great. Well... Uh, let's get started. Sounds good. Uh, so, where should we start? I have no idea. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um. Why don't you walk Arn through what you're doing out here? Right, of course. I, I checked in with the guard station up the street, and, and now I'm going to check the walls for... You 
two get to the palace. Coordinate with Lana. Right away. Arn, are you ready? Arn! I'm ready. You're heading for the explosions? If I hit them hard now, this attack will end before it really begins. Works for me. Let's move. Commander, you look different somehow. And you arrived even earlier than my most ambitious estimates. Are you malfunctioning? Is that why you're attacking the city? No. You've misunderstood, but everything will make sense soon. The firing sequence is already locked in. My calculations leave no room for error or intervention. You may defeat my remote droids, but not before the orbital defense cannons obliterate the Republic fleet. All units, begin combat recording protocol Orek. Let's see what you're truly capable of. Impressive. Republic fleet, raise your shields. Imperial forces set the planet's defensive guns to fire on you. I'm disabling them now, but they may have other tricks up their sleeves. Understood. Shields up! We'll pull the fleet to a safe distance and maintain alert status. Tau, this whole attack was a diversion. The Imperials tried to use the defensive cannons to attack our fleet, but I managed to stop them. That's great to hear, but I'm not sure anyone told these guys they're just a diversion. Think you could give us a hand in the town room? On my way. He was a Koru, leader of the Untamed. They followed the old ways of the Beast Riders, or at least, their version of the old ways. Commander, I am Senator Nabet. I thank you for your heroism and your timeliness. The deadliest of the attackers were his followers. They're violent isolationists and want all off-world influences killed or driven away. The rest are the King's own soldiers, led to their deaths by Petrif himself. And some kind of droids I don't recognize. The droids are Imperial. Remote piloted. I fought more of them in the control room for the orbital cannons. They actually spoke to me. The woman controlling them claimed to know me, but I didn't learn any more than that. The coded messages. The Empire must have convinced Petrif that we were plotting against him. Before he retreated, he kept ranting about reclaiming his throne. Though how the Empire could have gotten the Untamed to fight alongside the King is beyond me. Let's see to our wounded and determine the extent of the damage. Then we can reconvene to discuss strategy. The death toll is still being calculated. At the very least, hundreds of guards and civilians have died. Damage to the city itself was minimal. They attack so quickly that we hardly engage them before they reach the palace. Our ships in orbit got through without a scratch thanks to the commander. They should finish refueling within the hour. Then your mission here is over? I wish we could stay to help, but with the Imperials heading for Corellia... We should stay. We have to stay. What's on your mind, Arn? The droids that attacked us were being controlled remotely, and you said they spoke with a woman's voice. Darth Savick is the new Dark Council member in charge of scientific research. I read about her in Nostral's files. She uses droids in all of her missions. And I had a look at their internals. The signal range isn't far. That means Savick is on this planet as we speak. A Dark Council member could tell us a lot about the Empire's plans. If we can find Savick, she'll know which of our other fleets they're targeting. What else do we know about Darth Savick? Not much. She seems to avoid the spotlight. Master Nostaral suspects she's quietly deleted records of herself from across the galaxy. Only fragments remain. We can start with King Petrif. If the Sith are manipulating him, they won't be far. He was last seen heading toward his royal hunting lodge. If you're crossing the Onderan Wilds, you'll need guidance. But fortunately, I found just the help you need. Picaro, C2D4. <laughs> It will be our great pleasure to guide you across our beloved Underon. You two know your way around this planet? 
Have you forgotten my countless tales of service to the late Queen Lena? Ah, oh, for the days when I had limbs. <laughs> We'll leave you to that. It's best if Arna and I stick around to hold the line here in case the imps make another attack. But don't hesitate to call if you need backup. I assure you, Master Jedi, they're in the best of hands. No, oh, hands. <laughs> of course, to the Royal Hunting Lodge! But this world still has great value to the Empire. Think of the resources. Think of the strategic position. Worthy objectives for another day. Our focus is Corellia. The Emperor has made that clear. Evacuate your remaining forces and go to Rendezvous Point 1. And Savik, the next time I call, you will answer in person. Uh, the, the nobles! The best! They'll have me imprisoned! You promised support! You can't leave me! Go with my droids, King Petrif. They will keep you safe. Onderon will bow to you again soon enough. You again. You continue to best even my most aggressive estimates. Quite rude. You think a shield is enough to stop me? Really? As a matter of fact, I don't. This is a neutron emitter. Once fully charged, it will emit a wave of energy fatal to all organic life within range. The range is just enough to engulf the whole building, and the effect lasts for hours. Once you're dead, my droids will have plenty of time to fortify the building against further incursions. Can we be running away? You can try. So what's the fastest way out of here? The balcony, obviously. If only someone had been brilliant enough to order that remote piloting system for our ship. And to start flying it here at the first sign of trouble. What genius could have accomplished it? We'll never hear the end of this, will we? about the guards in the East Corridor. Yes. I, I feel two of them. They're nervous, but it's a general concern. Nothing threatening. Dead on. The North Corridor. Hmm. Uh, three. But they aren't guards. They feel... different. Kitchen staff, I think. Right again. But can you sense the Commander's Sith friend down in the armory? Uh, no. I can sense the guards there, but... No one else. Can't even sense a Sith Lord. Not much good, am I? I don't sense her either. But that's because she's actually out checking on the main gate. Your friends will make mistakes. Your enemies will lie. Your senses can be deceived. But you can always trust what the Force tells you. Our mission didn't quite go as planned. What about you two? I'll quiet here. Thank you for your patience. The nobles would rather debate who was most wronged by the King's treason than decide on a course of action. We were right about Darth Savick and King Petrif. The Sith manipulated him into attacking, but they both managed to escape. Any hints about where they might go next? Darth Malgus ordered Savick to leave Onderon. But nothing beyond that. I think it's time to pay a visit to the other attackers. The Untamed. 
To fight for the Sith, the Untamed must have been manipulated even more effectively than the King. I'm sure they're all the more frustrated for it. They know the Wilderness better than our finest scouts. They have both the motive and means to help you find Savik. They tried to kill us, and I really trust them. I don't understand their code of honor, but they do have one. If you follow it, you should be able to earn their cooperation. They'll be in mourning now. I made sure their dead warriors will return to them, to comply with the traditions they hold above all else. Light the appropriate beacons as you approach their hideout, and they will treat you with something like respect. If Senator Nebet agrees, we'll gather volunteers from the city guard. As soon as you find Savik's location, we'll be ready to launch a coordinated attack. Of course. Onderon will see justice done. Good luck, Commander. Koru, we honor the fallen. Offworlder, you observe our rites and customs. You show the respect due to the true masters of this world. You may speak your purpose here. Just be quick about it. I'm looking for Darth Savick. Do you know where she is? One Offworlder seeking another. Why should we be involved? Savick betrayed you. If you tell me where she is, she'll face justice. If you don't, you'll be helping her escape. Justice would be feeding her to Okoro's beasts, alongside Nebet, Petrif, and all others who spoil our world with the influence of outsiders like you. For now, we must lick our wounds and regain our strength. Kill Savik, take her prisoner. So long as there are less of your kind here, we will celebrate. The ancient proving grounds. Your city dwellers will know where it is. Savik thought she could hide a ship there. From other ignorant offworlders, perhaps. But not from us. You will find her there. Petrif, too. Now go! We will never suffer your presence here again. The shuttles were pretty well hidden, but we've got a full sensor lock. Now that we know where to look. They won't leave without us knowing. Volunteers from the city guard are ready and speeders are prepped. We can be there in minutes. Dao, Arn, you'll take the volunteers and attack from the far side. Make a lot of noise. Draw Savik's attention. I'll go on foot and catch Savik off guard. No, this is Malrev 4 all over again. That's not how I remember it. The Proving Grounds are ancient and dangerous, even without Imperial patrols. Be cautious. If you manage to find Petrif, please bring him back. The sooner he faces justice for betraying his people, the better. An exiled king can tell his own version of the story, rally supporters, and cause endless trouble. A man in prison is a memory that quickly fades. I'll do everything I can to bring Petrif back to you. We are incredibly fortunate to have you for an ally. Sensors are picking up energy blooms. Might be the shuttles powering up. Better move out. Be sure to cause as much chaos as you can. I want to make sure Savik doesn't see me coming. Good luck out there. Not so fast. The diversion was impressive, but... I know your moves too well to be fooled by a mere imitation. You're not going to escape, Savik. Just surrender. Ah, oh, Melora would have enjoyed this. The insect, threatening the spider from within its web, she'd say. I sometimes miss her particular insanity. You're clear for launch, Petrif. The sensor jammers will activate when you exit orbit. You'll be all but impossible to track. Away my return, dear Onderon. You shall know the splendor of my rule once again. Let's ensure a bit of privacy while we're at it. 
Shuttle 2, commence aerial assault on hostiles in Zone 5. Now then. I've prepared for this day for so long. Where to even begin? You struck me down in my prime, then moved on without a second thought. Corellia would have been my tomb had my droids not found me. In truth, I should thank you. You made me what I am. Taught me the best way to move forward. I haven't risked direct combat in a decade. I send my droids or manipulate fools like Petrif to fight for me. But now, at last, the Force has reunited us. I've spent years studying you, crafting the ideal response to your every tactic. Shall we test what I've learned? Doesn't sound like you're giving me any other choice. That's the beauty of my plans. I leave nothing to chance. Hate was supposed to make me stronger. All of my rage, all of these years, it still wasn't enough. I've studied, trained, risen to the Dark Council. What does it take to beat you? How can you be so powerful? I'm strong because I fight for others. People are counting on me. People who can't fight for themselves. If I fail, they suffer the consequences. So I can't fail. Please. It's clear that I'll never beat you. I... I, I don't... I, I don't think I even want to anymore. I just want to understand. I can't return to the Sith now. Not after this. They cannot help me become more than I am. Only you can. Hey there. Sounds like we won. Everyone all right? Some of the city guards were hit by the airstrikes, but we're pretty sure they'll make it. Looks like you have one prisoner. Was Petrif in the other shuttle that launched? Yes. He left as soon as I got here. I can help you. You can easily track him down with his sensor jammer's algorithm. I'll give you the algorithm, whatever you want. Yeah? How about the other fleets the Empire is targeting? Where will your friend strike next? Mech Shah. It's an old mining outpost that was converted to a fueling station. I don't have the details, but that's our, uh, Malgus's next target. Really? Just like that? <laughs> Let's get back to the palace. We can sort all of this out there. Sounds good to me. Then Savik's cooperation is sincere? She's actually told you the Empire's plan? Seems that way. I checked with General Dayrun and we have a fleet headed to Mechsha for refueling. The pieces fit. Arn and I will head there right away to meet with the fleet's commander, see if we can start rooting out the imps. If we can stop them on Mechsha like we did here, we might just stand a chance at defending Corellia. We'll stop the Empire, no matter what they have planned. Then let's get to it. See you on Mechsha. Senator, thanks for everything. Safe travels. We've got Savik on an Alliance shuttle ready to move out. She says she wants to stay with us. Well, with you, maybe. Of course, the Republic prefers that we transfer her to their control. How would you like to proceed? Transfer Savik to Republic custody. It's best if they handle her questioning. General Derun will be very pleased. Please don't make us find some other idiot to work for. Uh, that is... We'd much rather work for you. You're on your own. The Alliance doesn't have room for you. This won't end well. We have your ship fueled and ready whenever you wish to depart. Using Savik's information, we've sent troops to follow King Petrif. We expect to have him back in a matter of days. His trial will be interesting, of course. But I'm more concerned with what will come after. If the nobles can't agree, the question of leadership could turn violent. You'd make a good queen, Nebet. They should choose you. Thank you, but I don't want to rule my people. I only want to speak on their behalf and share their wisdom with the rest of the galaxy. Good luck on Mechshaw, Commander, and on Corellia.
We would be honored if you would join us.